Number 10, Nigella Lawson and Charles Saatchi. The couple's fight was witnessed by a photographer who stumbled upon celebrity chef Nigella Lawson being choked by none other than her husband, Britain's most high profile figure, Charles Saatchi. The incident all went down during her birthday lunch and a now infamous photo was captured of the chilling sight. The photographer, who only went by the name Jean Paul, told Vanity Fair in 2013 that when Charles grabbed his wife's throat, quote, it was so violent with such force that her head snapped backward. The story hit the tabloids at full speed and actually served to open up a much needed conversation about domestic violence. Their relationship was obviously far from perfect, but the intense controversy that the incident sparked was enough to tear them apart forever. That same year, Charles filed for divorce from Nigella after 10 years of marriage. Funnily enough, he later told the Daily Mail that putting his hands on her throat was merely a gesture and insisted that there was no pressure applied to her. Yeah, right. Number 9, Kim Kardashian and Chris Humphreys. Their 72 day marriage had certainly shown signs that it was going to end quickly. A few days before Kim divorced Chris on day 68, the couple were spotted arguing in their car while out on a dinner date in Hollywood. The newlywed couple were photographed heading back to Kim's car after after dinner and you could visibly see the tension in the air. Chris looked fed up and Kim was giving her new husband the death stare while yelling and waving her hands at him as the argument began to escalate. This very public fight was indicative that their relationship was on the rocks because that same year Kim went on to file for divorce and got the marriage annulled. The Los Angeles Times even reported that Kim had only married him to increase ratings on Keeping Up With The Kardashians. The best part was that Chris asked for a $7 million divorce settlement from his ex-wife. Otherwise, he threatened to make her endure an ugly public trial. But the NBA star ended up walking away with literally nothing. Number 8, Emma Roberts and Evan Peters. The American Horror Story actors first met on the set of Adult World in 2012, and in the short four years since then, the two have shared more drama than some of Hollywood's biggest blockbusters. Toxic doesn't even begin to describe their relationship. We're talking about at least three breakups and deleting all social media traces of each other. Early on in their relationship, TMZ reported that the two got into a heated argument while staying at a hotel in Montreal that ended up with both stars getting physical. When police arrived, Peters was found with a bloody nose and bite marks on his body, prompting police to take Emma into custody, arresting her for domestic violence. But her then boyfriend decided not to press charges and they were back together a few hours later. What's really bizarre is that a couple of days after the fight, photos were shared online of Emma clinging to Evan while sobbing into his arms after news broke of the fight. Paparazzi were even able to capture the two hugging one another, with Emma looking extremely upset the whole time. The incident was a bit of a grey area, but many have labelled it as straight up domestic violence. Number 7, Kanye West and Sway Calloway. In a now famous episode of Sway's Shade 45 radio show in 2013, Kanye expressed his frustration with the corporate structure of the fashion world. He was venting about the lack of support and creative freedom from the big fashion houses he's reached out to or collaborated with. But when Sway asked Kanye why he doesn't just fund it himself, things took a hard turn. Kanye got very riled up and said, quote, how Sway, you ain't got the answers man, you ain't got the answers. I've been doing this more than you, you ain't got the answers. In the week since the interview was broadcast, a number of hilarious internet memes hit Instagram, Tumblr and Twitter. The fiery interview resulted in almost 9 million streams on YouTube to date and countless memes poking fun at the exchange. But Sway said that despite how things played out between him and Kanye, he has no hard feelings. Quote, it got really intense, I will admit to that, but everything that Kanye said, I think it's true. In fact, I believe in everything that he's trying to do and I think we should all listen to the message. At least he was able to put it behind him. Number 6, Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt. Before the former couple split, their relationship was clearly becoming strained, as The Sun reported that the same year that Jolie filed for divorce, they were spotted in Legoland having a major public spat. 
Onlookers told the magazine that both stars didn't look happy and looked stern faced. And photos from the incident show Brad actually grabbing Angelina's arm while she pulls away and appears to be screaming at him. The couple filed for divorce in 2016, citing irreconcilable differences. Now the actors are both learning to co parent their six children after years of custody battles and child support drama. According to Daily Mail, Brad has even been seen visiting Angelina's house to spend time with his kids. Kids. So it sounds like they are back on good terms. Number five, Jesse Nelson and Jake Roche. When the former couple arrived together at the album release party for Little Mix's Get Weird in 2015, they were supposed to be in high spirits for the event. But the evening soon took a turn for the worst as somehow it ended up with Jesse crying. It was reported that Jesse allegedly had a massive fight with her then fiance before she decided she had had enough and stormed out. A source told the Daily Mirror newspaper that the girls had been having a great night drinking and even dancing on the tables the whole night until the early hours. But somewhere around the AM, Jesse and Jake had a tiff and Jake stomped off to a nearby hotel and Jesse was clearly sobbing and she took a cab home. The singer was spotted leaving the venue in London and hopping into a cab in the early hours of the morning with makeup smudged around her face and eyes bloodshot after the fight. The couple announced their split the following year so it looked like in this case the fight may have been indicative of a larger issue issue in their relationship. According to reports, the reason they split was because Jesse wanted to start a family, but Jake, who was only 24, felt that he was too young to be a father and that they had the rest of their lives to have children. Number 4. Nicholas Holt and Jennifer Lawrence The couple fell in love with each other when they first met on the set of the X-Men movie series and became co-stars. Jennifer played Mystique and Nicholas portrayed Beast. It all seemed to be going well for the pair until they suddenly split in 2014 after dating for nearly 5 years. They did have a really public fight however when they were once spotted arguing during a dinner. According to reports, the formal couple was at a restaurant together when they started really getting into it. Witnesses claimed that the actress was upset about something and even threw her hands into the air at one point. Nicholas apparently also got very frustrated as he started shouting at her. Jennifer had apparently had enough with him and broke down as he stormed out of the restaurant. It seems like it was a bit of a mess, but it's great that the former couple have since been able to move on with their respective partners. Number 3. Miley Cyrus and Nicki Minaj The onstage spat at the 2015 VMAs between Nicki Minaj and Miley Cyrus was probably the most shocking and talked about moment of the night. While receiving her award, Nicki took the opportunity to lash out at the host. Quote, Back to this bee who had a lot to say about me the other day in the press. Miley, what's good? Miley was taken aback for a second, but she managed to save face and said that that interviews get manipulated all the time and congratulated her. Producers were able to censor the curse words, but a beep doesn't really block out our lip reading abilities, and it's clear that Nikki dropped the F bomb a few times while Miley continued talking. Nikki later told New York Magazine about the moment and said, quote, I saw Miley just looking at me with her face screwed up, and I thought, what the? But she also said it was deeper than that. Nikki was upset that the former Disney Channel star was using black culture as a means to reinvent herself and shed her good girl perspective. Persona, while at the same time being ignorant about the issues facing that community. She did have a good point because Miley has since ditched hip hop in favor of rock, which I think suits her a lot better. Number 2. Beyonce and Jay-Z Yes, I'm about to talk about the infamous sushi fight. So in 2016, the paparazzi caught the power couple dining at a sushi park restaurant in LA. And from the photos which surfaced online, we can tell that they really got into it. It showed them having anything but a pleasant sushi date. Beyonce was yelling and waving her finger at Jay-Z while he looked like he was glued to his phone the whole time. They say that it's rude to use your phone at dinner, but even worse, he just seems like he wasn't listening to her at all. The truth is, we'll never know what started the public argument, but it wasn't the first intense fight that they've ever been in. This all took place two years after the bizarre elevator fight at the 2014 Met Gala between Jay-Z and Beyonce's sister Solange. When she started attacking him by punching and kicking him in an elevator, all while the bodyguards eventually had to restrain her. It was really quite funny because Beyonce was just standing there and watching it all unfold. The three artists did make a joint statement about the incident, which read, quote, They both have apologized to each other and we have moved forward as a united family. And coming in at number one, Shia LaBeouf and Mia Goth. 
The controversial actor Shia LaBeouf has had some seriously messed up allegations brought against him in recent years, but this fight was just so bizarre that it deserves a place on the list. The actor and his former longtime girlfriend Mia Goth, who has recently starred in the horror movie X, got into a heated altercation in Germany in 2015 that was all captured on video. The argument occurred on the streets and got so bad that a few locals had to intervene. Shia was heard shouting, quote, I don't want to touch a woman, I don't want to hit a woman, but I'm being pushed. He then got into a random person's car and had them drive him to the airport. He later told that same person that if he had stayed there, then he would have taken her life. But they seem to have made up after the fight and even got married in 2016 in Las Vegas, only to split up two years later. The relationship was probably a complicated one because in 2020, People Magazine reported that the pair were spotted together wearing wedding rings. Hopefully they parted for good because they seem to be extremely toxic together. Number 10, Kirsten Dunst and Garrett Hedlund. This is a great way to start off the list because even though this public fight was embarrassing, it seemed like the couple were able to shrug it off relatively quickly. We're going to talk about the epic couple fight that happened way back in 2012 between actress Kirsten Dunst and her on the road co-star Garrett Hedlund, who just recently started dating at the time. Although the actors had plenty in common and things started going well initially, cameras caught the couple having a major argument on their way to a movie theater, which was so intense it looked like it was about more than which movie they were seeing. It looked like something had sparked a pretty big fight as the pair continued to hurl insults at each other on the way. Whatever happened in the car that day, it was probably just a petty argument because they ended up dating for another four years. And in 2015, Kirsten said, quote, we're the same age, we have similar backgrounds, he feels like family to me. But sadly, like most other good things, the relationship came to an end in April of 2016. Number nine, John Mayer and Jessica Simpson. If there's one thing that Hollywood knows by now, it's that John Mayer is a bit of a playboy. His reputation as a womanizer definitely precedes him. So that's why everyone at one point was really surprised to see him with Jessica Simpson. He raised eyebrows when he used the phrase sexual napalm to describe his romance with Simpson and even compared her to a certain illicit substance that he said he couldn't get enough of. The couple dated for a year, but they broke up several times throughout their relationship. In fact, sources close to the couple told people that things were always on and off between the pair and they had arguments constantly. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, 2006 marked the year that they decided to finally split for good. The couple was on vacation in Mexico when there were photos snapped of them arguing on the balcony of their room. Jessica looked like she was in tears and it was undoubtedly a breakup. The news of their split came shortly after the photos were released, meaning there's a good chance that the paparazzi actually captured the moment when Jessica and John called things off for good. Number 8. Adrian Malouf and Sean Stewart Apart from their almost 20 year age difference, it seemed like they there were a myriad of other issues that plagued the brief relationship between Rod Stewart's son, Sean Stewart, and former Real Housewives of Beverly Hills cast member Adrienne Malouf. The couple split up after having a blowout fight on the red carpet. According to eyewitnesses, the duo arrived separately and Adrienne walked the red carpet with an even younger man, 24-year-old Jacob Bush. TMZ spotted the pair fighting next to the red carpet at the charity event, which definitely marked the end of their on-again, off-again relationship. The argument between them got heated and Sean could be seen storming off, telling his ex, I'm done, when her date tried to approach him. Stewart later claimed to Brandy Glanville on her podcast, quote, I do want to clear up one rumor, she never broke my heart. But when it came time to explain the bizarre public fight, the reality TV star only told Star Magazine, quote, I have a lot of changes going on in my life. I went through a period of darkness and I am much happier now than ever. Things are good. Number seven, Stephen Amell and Cassandra Jean Amell. The couple have been married since 2012 and all seemed well in public until it didn't. The star of CW's Arrow and his wife got into an altercation on a Delta flight from Austin to Los Angeles that ended up with the actor having to be forcibly removed from the flight. Stephen was reportedly screaming at Cassandra while they were seated on the plane and appeared to be intoxicated when a flight attendant asked him to calm down multiple times. When the fight escalated to the point of no return, the actor had to be restrained and removed by an air marshal and three flight attendants that worked together to get him off the plane. His wife did not go with him and instead chose to remain on the flight. 
Big surprise there. With the incident made public, Stephen took to Twitter to try and explain the whole thing and claimed that his emotions got the better of him. Quote, my wife and I got into an argument. I was asked to lower my voice and I did. Approximately 10 minutes later, I was asked to leave the flight and I did so immediately. I was not forcibly removed. The whole thing was really absurd because if they needed four people to get him off the flight, something about his side of the story just doesn't add up. Number six, Jennifer Garner and Ben Affleck. The stars were photographed having a very emotional moment inside a car prior to their divorce. Back in 2016, the pair were arguing in their SUV after dropping their three children at school when things started to get really heated. Just looking at the picture that has been circulated online, you can tell that Jennifer was getting very frustrated with whatever Ben was saying and she proceeded to make hand gestures throughout the argument, probably because she felt like she wasn't being heard. At one point she can actually be seen breaking down in tears inside the vehicle. But this instance wasn't a one-off and recently it seems like Ben has a lot of explaining to do. The 40 Nine year old was caught earlier this year puffing on his cigarette fiercely while appearing to be in another fight with Jennifer on the streets of Los Angeles. The exes appeared to be locked in a heated conversation outside her car just hours after it was revealed that Ben and his now fiance Jennifer Lopez bought a $50 million home together. The pair rekindled their relationship in April last year, almost immediately after she ended her engagement with Alex Rodriguez. So the timing is definitely interesting. Number 5. Chanel West Coast and Charlemagne the God Radio host Charlemagne the God was a guest on a 2017 episode of MTV's Ridiculousness. As viewers witnessed, the pair got into an explosive argument after Charlemagne called Chanel a whack rapper and told the show's audience that it was good if they've never heard her music. But Chanel had clearly had enough because she said, quote, Lil Wayne, who co-signed Drake and Nicki Minaj, is the same person who co-signed me. I won a BET award with Young Money. She proceeded to name the people that she's had songs with and told the radio host, you don't know my musical track record. The moment was pretty awkward because although she successfully stood up for herself, there was clearly a lot of tension in the room. Chanel later opened up to Life and Style about the incident. Quote, he's kind of rude all the time, so I felt like I needed to stand up for myself. A lot of people, I don't think, get the chance to do that with him. I mean, good on her. Most people would have done the same thing if he was attacking their career. Number four, Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber. Their infamous on and off again relationship was definitely not free from arguments and some of them were caught on camera. Right before Selena and Justin got on a plane to Paris, they got into a huge fight while at Princess Juliana International Airport in St. Martin and unfortunately it looked like a massive one. In the video, we see Justin and Selena sitting in their car outside the airport in St. Martin before their Paris flight. Selena storms out of the car, walks into the airport by herself and throws her bag on the floor. Justin didn't immediately follow her, instead he chose to sit in the car for a little bit, which probably made her even more mad. When he did enter a few minutes later, she was chatting with a fan that had a baby and Justin came over and they silently walked to their flight. You could tell both of them were equally frustrated, but in 2014, this was only one of the many public fights that the couple would go on to have. In fact, after their romantic trip, they went to Paris Fashion Week, which led to more arguing because Justin Justin reportedly went to dinner with Kendall Jenner and partied with her at the same party that Selena was at. She flew out the next morning alone, leaving Justin in Paris and then deleted him off Instagram. Number 3. Simon Cowell and Lauren Silverman this was not just one explosive fight, but actually several. The lid was really blown off the couple's relationship problems when paparazzi captured photos of them in March last year having a tense argument while walking with their son Eric. According to The Sun, passerbys noticed that the X Factor judge had a face like thunder and their arguing was so loud almost everyone could hear them. In fact, it was reportedly so bad that Lauren got fed up and had to walk away from Simon while the former American Idol judge decided to cross the road to the other side to put some distance between them. And he walked the rest of the way on the other side of the street. But that wasn't the first time that the pair had a fight in public. In fact, back in 2013, the couple 
people were seen shouting at each other inside a car in New York City. They were even photographed in the middle of an altercation while sitting in the back of an SVU in broad daylight with their windows down. Simon had his hands in the air and Lauren looked like she was crying. I guess it goes to show you that celebrities really are just normal people. Number two, Christopher Hibju and Gry Mulver. If you forget about season eight, Game of Thrones was really an epic TV series that took over the world as soon as season one hit and made several of its stars household names. Norwegian actor Christopher was one of the stars who appeared in the series over the years, but it was his public fight with his wife, Gry, who was a photographer that really got people talking. They say that redheads are known for their temper, so it seems like these two are really perfect for each other. The couple were spotted having a heated argument as they were shopping in Los Angeles, as Gry had reportedly been looking for a new dress. No one really knows what the fight was about, but onlookers claimed that their argument lasted for over an hour and escalated very quickly. During the fight, you can see the actor raises his hands in the air in frustration, while his wife, who looks incredibly distraught, has her eyes to the ground the whole time. Time. The fight continued before they both stormed off. Just goes to show you how celebrities are normal people too. Number one, Shia LaBeouf and Carolyn Foe. Yes, he's back on the list because the actor has a seriously extensive track record of public spats. Shia LaBeouf is fairly well known for his outlandish behavior, where he frequently just takes it way too far by getting kicked out of a performance of cabaret or being arrested for public drunkenness in 2017. But this fight dates back to 2012 when he and his then girlfriend Carolyn were caught fighting on camera and having a tearful exchange on the side of the road in LA. It was then that rumors started circulating about the extent of Shia's involvement in the sex scenes in Lars von Trier's Nymphomaniac, which were reportedly real. So naturally his girlfriend would be upset. She did not seem too thrilled that her actor boyfriend Shia had shared an intimate scene with his co-star in the movie. But Carolyn was pretty quick to deny the fight, telling the New York Daily News, quote, it's not none of anybody's business. Everything is fine with us, it was nothing affiliated with this movie. Although that might be true, clearly something had caused the couple to have a public screaming match on the side of the road in broad daylight. And just like that, in November the same year, the couple had officially decided to split for good. Number 10, James Corden and Patrick Stewart. A video of their onstage beef at the 2010 Glamour Awards resurfaced online recently, and it's the definition of awkward. Patrick Stewart and James Corden were presented presenting an award together when the X-Men star suddenly decided to call out Corden on stage for his disinterested attitude towards the ceremony. Quote, when the presenters are up here and when the recipients are receiving their award, don't stand at the back of the stage with your hands in your pockets looking around as though you'd wished you were anywhere but here. James was super caught off guard at first and so was everyone else in the audience. Obviously embarrassed, he shot back with, if I look like that, I'm so sorry. But when you come up and present an award, just F get on with it. The situation got even more cringy. Stewart did not move on and actually brought up Corden's weight, saying, from where I was sitting, I can see your belly. And that was there over at the back of the room. The spat continued back and forth for a few minutes, but it was so uncomfortable to watch, it felt more like hours. Number nine, Cardi B and Asia Davies. On the after show of Love and Hip Hop New York, host Nina Parker asked cast member Asia Davies a question about her relationship with fellow co-star and ex Swift. But before before Asia could respond, Cardi sent a heel flying in Asia's direction, a signature move we all now know too well. Cardi then demanded that Asia admit that she had an issue with her. Quote, you judged me because I was a stripper, say the truth. It was immediately clear why the two had been positioned so far away from each other. After trash talking her for a bit, the artist was ready to throw down again with Asia. In fact, Cardi needed a whole team behind her to keep her from laying hands on her rival. But the rapper may have been right in this situation because because Swift admitted that Asia did not respect Cardi because of her past. He allegedly had to explain to her several times that she was no longer a stripper, she'd moved on from that and is now making music. So when Asia refused to answer the question about why she didn't give Cardi a chance, her rival went into full attack mode. And what ensued is the televised disaster that you can still watch to this day. Number eight, Daniel Bregoli and Iggy Azalea. Perhaps the strangest beef we have ever seen, these two definitely deserve a spot on the list for the explosive ultra they had in 2018. Daniel Bregoli, otherwise known as Bad Baby, went after the Australian rapper Iggy Azalea at a Hollywood party and tried to attack her and even threw a drink on her. TMZ caught the whole incident on camera and you can clearly see that Daniel
Danielle was ready to pounce because the second she saw Iggy, her cup went flying. The then 16 year old had to be held back by her own security, and the crew got between them as Iggy calmed down and walked away from the scene. Although Iggy left the area, the Dr. Phil star kept running her mouth about how much she hated the 28 year old. The beef apparently started because Iggy talked smack on social media, saying who would even go to one of Bad Baby's shows. When fans questioned why Iggy just walked away from the situation, she said, quote, I get that this little girl has made a name for herself acting a damn fool on television and online, but I'm a grown up. I'm not about to waste my energy on that or be fighting a kid in a club. Number seven, Bradley Cooper and Irina Shayk. Bradley Cooper and Irina Shayk were one of the power couples in Hollywood. The two dated for nearly four years before calling it quits in 2019. However, the two have created many memories which fans fondly remember, even one of them at the famed tennis tournament. Paparazzi caught what looked like a super awkward argument between actor Bradley Cooper and his model girlfriend at the 2016 Wimbledon's Men Final. In the video footage from that day, Bradley was caught whispering into Irina's ear while she appears to cry and turn her head away from the actor. She appeared to be dabbing tears out of her eyes and then crossed her arms and refused to look at him. In the video, he then went back to watching the tennis and she just sat in silence beside him. While it's not clear why the two were really fighting or what they could have been possibly fighting about, but that didn't stop people online from speculating wildly the way the internet loves to do. Some even suggested that Bradley and Irina were fighting over his ex-girlfriend Suki Waterhouse. Although it feels like you can almost cut the tension with a knife, TMZ later reported that sources close to the couple claimed Irina was simply battling pollen allergies. Well, it really could have been anything. Number six, Dakota Johnson and Ellen DeGeneres. This one was not exactly a fight, but it went viral because Dakota was one of the only celebrities to call out Ellen DeGeneres for lying on her own show. Ellen has done so many shady things on her show and got away with it just because she was hosting. Like when she forced Mariah Carey to admit that she was pregnant. But in 2019, the talk show host brought Dakota on and started whining about how the actress never invited her to the birthday party that she threw. She probably expected her to get flustered and profusely apologize, but instead she said, quote, actually no, that's not the truth Ellen. Ask everybody. Ask Jonathan, your producer. Dakota revealed that she had invited the host to her 30th birthday party and even called for witnesses, while Ellen denied the accusation. Finally, off camera, someone affiliated with the show confirmed that Dakota was right and that Ellen had been out of town and couldn't be there. This obviously made her extremely uncomfortable and she tried to manage the situation, but she was clearly caught in a lie and the resulting awkwardness was dark satisfying to watch. Number five, Rihanna and Hassan Jamil. The former couple seemed like they were perfect for each other after rumors swirled that the two were engaged in 2017. Although they managed to keep their relationship very private and didn't post many photos together on social media, photos emerged of the two on a trip to Mexico in 2018 that left many fans wondering if they were done for good. The paparazzi captured photos that painted a picture of Rihanna screaming at her former billionaire boyfriend and angrily pointing her finger at him while they were on the pool side. What's interesting about the photos is that in comparison to Rihanna, Jamil looked very calm and almost passive in the argument, which made the whole thing go viral. Because of all the noise online, the singer took to Instagram and posted a meme of a female lion roaring at a male lion with the caption, quote, when you think you know more about soccer, hashtag World Cup 2018. But even though she had a good sense of humor about the fight, the couple still ended up splitting up in 2020 because allegedly their lives were just too different and it was too hard to maintain a relationship. Number four, Will Smith and Chris Rock. Will Smith shocked fans, viewers, and Chris Rock when he walked onto the stage at the 2022 Academy Awards and slapped the comedian across the face, then casually just walked back to his seat. The incident occurred while Rock was introducing the award for best documentary and joked about Jada Pinkett Smith's haircut. It was then that Smith silently got up on stage, walked over to Rock and slapped him across the face on live television. Then in what seemed like his very first attempt at damage control, Will gave a teary apology during his acceptance speech not long after the slap occurred. Quote, I want to apologize to all my fellow nominees. This is a beautiful moment and I'm not crying for winning an award. Smith took home best actor for his role in King 
Richard. But the shocking moment has not only got him banned from the Oscars for 10 years, but has already cost Will several projects, although he is reportedly planning a comeback with the sequel to I Am Legend. Number 3 Johnny McGade and Courtney Cox These two are also known for their on again off again relationship, and after getting back together once again after a brief split, the actress and her musician boyfriend were seen arguing outside a West London restaurant and appeared to be exchanging heated words as they dined outside during Courtney's visit to the British capital. In one shot, the former Friends actress can be seen waving her arms and phone in front of Johnny's face, while in another, she looks frustrated as she held her head in her hands. Not long after, she gave her then fiance the silent treatment before getting to her feet to leave the restaurant. For some background, the pair have been engaged, unengaged, and living separately for the majority of their relationship, even though they've been together for seven years. And so this argument really fueled rumors of more relationship problems. The argument was reportedly about the couple planning their nuptials when they started fighting about the finer details, and insiders told reporters that the couple couldn't agree where they would live, as Johnny supposedly wanted to move back to the UK and Courtney wanted to remain in LA. Number two, Cardi B and Nicki Minaj. At a New York Fashion Week party in 2018, Cardi declared a full on war against her longtime rival, Nicki Minaj. She approached Nicki while she was sitting at a table with her crew and was looking for a fight to address the lies Nicki was spreading. According to eyewitnesses, Cardi said, Let me tell you something before she lunged at Nicki. But security was two steps ahead and stopped her inches from contact. One of them even elbowed her in the face. Because Cardi couldn't get close enough to attack, she pulled her signature move and threw her shoe. But she missed her target. As for Nikki, she clearly wasn't worried, and eyewitnesses say she didn't even flinch. Cardi was then kicked out by security and left the building like Cinderella with one shoe on her foot. About the incident, Cardi later said, quote, When you mention my child, you choose to like comments about me as a mother, make comments about my abilities to take care of my daughter, is when all bets are effing off. But Minaj fired back on her Queen radio show, quote, Get this woman some effing help. This woman's at the highest point in her career and she's throwing shoes. Fans were pretty divided over the attack, but Nikki seemed to come out as the winner simply because she didn't really engage. And coming in at number one, Birdman and the Breakfast Club. American rapper and record executive Birdman got into a now infamous face off with the hosts of the Breakfast Club, the Power 105.1 morning radio show in 2016. Birdman came in fuming mad and repeatedly told the hosts to stop playing with his name while he was confronting the group. DJ Envy even tried to get him to sit down, but the tension in the room at that point was through the roof. Probably because the radio show had been discussing the rapper's various controversies for months prior to his appearance, claiming that he didn't pay artists and that he made bad business deals with Lil Wayne. It was clear that Birdman had had enough. He then said the words that would birth a new beam for years to come. When y'all saying my name, put some respect on it. While the Breakfast Club watched in suppressed amusement, Birdman then stood up and commanded his crew to leave the studio. The two minute clip was a viral sensation and now sits at 21 million views on YouTube. In fact, Birdman was one of the top 10 most googled memes of 2016. The internet couldn't get enough of Birdman's vague threats and he even made a song about the whole thing that same year. 